a girl being bought for a pack of cigarettes because somebody feels like smoking, he doesn't have money, so he has the slave girl, he goes and sells the slave girl to another man and then he gets the money out of a pack of cigarettes and that's it. So her value is a pack of cigarettes. I was just heartbroken. When I met the Yazidi girls and when they told me some of the horrifying stories, those stories actually shocked me. You know, I have been in a lot of conflict around the world, but the scale and the magnitude. I mean, putting girls in the open markets, stripping them naked for people to come and examine them. This is what used to happen in the slave trade 200 or so years ago, not now. I was told about a girl who for the last four years had been married off 22 times. She is 21 years of age and every time this marriage is arranged, they have to do a surgical operation to her to be able to rebuild her, her virginity so that she can become a virgin for the next marriage. 21 year old girl, married off 22 times, just so that somebody could make money on her. For me, one of the things I bring into this job that has helped me to connect with these women is because first, I live in a one-ton country. Second, I have been a refugee myself. These are people who are very low in status, who have given up, who doesn't believe that the world is listening to them, who feels that the world is against them. I tell them my own story and I tell them how I came out very strongly. So it's hope. You can't give them something immediately, but you can give them a sense of hope. And the second thing is by being there. They know that somebody knows about their story. I'll be their voice. I'll let people know that these people are alive, the stories are real, and these people need help.